हेलो दोस्तों सो इफ यू आर ए साइंस स्टूडेंट एंड यू हैव द कॉन्फोकल इमेजेस एंड यू वांट टू एनालाइज देम एंड मैनिपुलेट देम एंड सो इन द प्रॉपर वे टू योर बॉस हाउ वन कैन डू दैट यू कैन सर्च ऑन द नेट एंड फिगर आउट एंड वेस्ट योर टाइम और यू कैन यू कैन गो टू द टू टू डेल्स हु हैव एक्सप्लेन यू रिगार्डिंग दिस सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू विद डैट दैट हाउ टू एनालाइज योर ओन इमेजेस एक्वायर फ्रॉम द कॉन्फोकल माइक्रोस्कोप so i will talk about here three things first how to download this image software what are the basic tools available in this software via which you can analyze your images and third how to represent that in the ppt or in a in a word doc and you can show to your boss or you can use for your paper so let's begin first how to download the image software so you have to go in the google you have to type image image just click on this so nih image slash image you have to click this you will see different things available in this site so you have to go in the download section where depending on the specification of your computer you have to choose which thing you want to use so since my computer is bundled with 64 bit java i have used this so afterward when you click this you will get the option of save and run option how you used to get with your normal other software so since i have downloaded this image j i will show you the image j software look uh, icon looks like it so when you double click this you will get these options there is file edit image process analyze plugins windows and help so there are one of the most important things is a plugins so there are different plugins available in the same site where i have shown you nih site and you can download different plugins available for different manipulation so for analyze your confocal images you need to install plugins called bio formats it's very important when you download this you have to install in the plug plugin file and afterward you will see all these different options so i will explain you with uh, one example so let's open one of the confocal images so since i have opened recently let's see so this is your one confocal image so what you see here i will explain you so this is a marker or you can say analytic tool by which you can measure any particles available in your confocal images for example there is a small uh, particle like structure here if you will measure this you can if you want to measure this you have to outline this dot so there are different options available like in image if you want to adjust the brightness and contrast you can go here image then adjust and then brightness and contrast b and c you can say auto or you can increase your brightness contrast depending on what you want to see so let's see what are information available with this images so there are two channels c which is written sort from c channel 1 and channel 2 and what about just z stack so there are total 36 stacks which has been scanned for this images and right now we are at 11 stack number as you can see here what is the c c is the channel so they are basically how many channels if you will go from left to the right as you can see there are two channels one is in the green channel and one is in the red channel so it depends what you want to see you have to analyze those images so as i have mentioned you before that there these are different tools available by which you can if you want to measure your length or any particle things you can use this tools like if you want to measure the length of this a uh, hole you have to go from start to end and you have to click this and afterward what you are going to do so there is option called analyze then measure and in the measurement you will get the option so since i have selected uh, these options i have got this so how i have selected this let's see that also so you have to go in analyze then you have to mark set measurement now there are different options available what you want to analyze you want to analyze area you want to analyze perimeter 
you want to analyze the shape what is the shape so this will help you in analyzing the shape of the object and also the information what you want which stack position it is available so if i have clicked this it will give me all the information available with this line so you can measure the uh, with the help of your key just press m so this is the measurement what i have got the area perimeter and uh, right now slice number 11 and so on and so forth so this is the basic thing which i have explained you now let's see how you can manipulate your images so before that we have to remove this uh, uh, which we have selected so you have to go in image then overlay and then you have to say uh, remove overlay so it has been removed so now suppose this image you have to manipulate so before that you have to copy this image so that you can manipulate in different way so let's duplicate this image it's asking what you want to duplicate you want to duplicate the whole slice or you want to duplicate some special a specific slice start to end so i want to duplicate from first to 36 stack so i have said okay so as you can see now i have duplicate images available here now if i want to see the two channels in different uh, color separately so you have to go in image then color then the split channel so as you can see there are two channels now green channel and red channel now for representation purpose you have to show this images in different angle now suppose if you want to see from start to here you have to take the section from 1 to 16 if you want to see the images from start to end you have to take the image go to the stack and there's a jet section okay so now you press maximum intensity okay so now you have the image of the maximum intensity projection from start to begins total 136 stacks so this is the mip of 136 stack similar goes for the green also you have to go in image then a stack jet projection you have to say okay so now we have two images green and red similar way if you want to see how the color images looked what you will do the duplicate image which you have made we have to go in image then color then make a composite in this way as you can see now there are two channels all together green and red both of them together so in a similar way we can do image stack jet projection and now we have both of them together so how one can process these images so for purpose of making the ppt you don't need to process more further of this but if you want to use for paper you have to go for each channel so you have to go image overlay and then you have to flatten your images so this is the image final image which you are going to use so you can use a part of the section which you want to use you have to set whatever you want to say if you want to put the whole image you have to click this then edit copy to the system and then i will show you how you can use in the ppt so let's open this ppt so it's opening so you can show your all the images all together in one ppt and you can analyze your own images with the help of this so select this blank then say control v so this is for red and similar goes for green also edit copy to the system sometimes only just copy will not help you have to do edit copy to the system so these are small thing which you have to take care so now green and now this is the final red one which you have to also do image overlay flatten if you want to then edit then copy to the system and then this three so all three channels uh, all two channels with their composite channel is now ready so you can adjust all this thing as you can use with 
and in this way you can show your uh, all the images all together with control and RNAi and you can make different slides and you can show to your boss as well so for the paper purpose one thing you need to know that you have to put scale bar as as well and when you uh, process your image in the image software it automatically detect the uh, scale bar from the which confocal images you have used so now since uh, it has been it has been automatically it has been updated so when you select this tool and a scale bar it automatically take that the there is a scale bar is automatically uh, manipulated so when you put usually the people uh, people put in the 20 or 10 micrometer a scale bar so i prefer 10 micrometer so let's see so now this is with the scale bar now which font you want to use you can adjust according to what you want to use so this is all in next video i'll talk about how to analyze the intensity of the images in detail and other tools also so I hope you like this video and it might be help you for the beginners that how to analyze your own images. And if you like this video, please subscribe the channel and give me the comments what you want to discuss. And that will help me to encourage and to make more number of video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.